ADR and Pyramix couldn't be simpler with the new ADR tool. I've got here a small project, a reel of a film that's going to require some ADR recording done. So the first step in doing this is I'm going to go to my ADR tab down on the bottom here. You can see we've got a couple of tabs across the top and the first one we're going to look at is the production. So within the production tab, we're going to enter the name of the project, the ID, producer, editor, etc. All these are going to go towards creating notes at the end of the project. Below it, we have scenes and characters. Now the scenes are the video files that we're going to be using to record the ADR against. What I'm going to do here is I can load each scene, click to add a new scene, scene two, and from there, I can load a video file to that scene, give it an ID, give it a time code in and out more importantly so that any offsets of the video can be created within this and will auto load when I activate a loop. Below the scenes area, we have the characters list. And what we're doing here, we're creating a list of actors which we're going to be recording for this project. The specific bits here which we're gonna look at is assigning a bespoke color and a bespoke input and repro track for each one. Why we're doing this becomes apparent in the next step here. The next step is we're going to get some loops in. So there's two different ways we can bring loops in. The first being we can import loop sheets from third party applications. So I'm going to say, well, we'll import everything and we'll go and find our file and import it. Now, with the loops imported, we can see we've got time code and announced for each one of them, durations, the scene we're going to be using, characters, as well as other information which is going to start getting filled out as we begin recording the loops. The second way in which we can get loops in is by creating our actual spotting session within the Pyramix project. Once I've got the scene up, I can move the cursor to any position I want to. I can create a new loop in. So now I've got a new scene here. I can assign to any character, I'm going to assign it to the character 5, and we can see we've got an in and out and a duration of 2 seconds. Again, we could choose the other scene at this point as well. So the next step, the big one, is we're going to start recording our ADR project. So we double click to activate a loop. Now the loop is activated, so what we're going to do first is we're going to do a bit of a rehearse. So we can go into cycle rehearse. So now we're in cycle rehearse. What you'll see is we're getting our countdowns and our wipes across the screen for the actual loop being recorded. So now we're finished rehearsing, it's time to start recording. So I'm gonna go into cycle record. So what I can do now is I can concentrate on the performance. Everything is being taken care of by the Pyramix application. As you can see, every time it goes into record, it creates a new track, mutes the additional ones, and drops in and drops out with a pre-roll, without me having to do a thing. It also provides beeps, and provides, as you can see via the video, countdowns and wipes. So having recorded five takes now, I'm happy we've got what we needed, so we can come out of record, and we can start taking a look at which one we're gonna want as our select take. As we can see that this bottom take has been named the select, but if I want to, I can actually toggle through and instantly, any one of them becomes the select take. What you'll also notice is that I've got a consolidate track up here which is automatically taking the select take and placing it in its own group. So what's gonna happen now when I decide select take is take two, it will now hide all of the ADR takes and only leave me with the consolidate track, keeping things very, very nice and neat. So I'm gonna move on to the next loop. The ADR loop is now activated, and again, we can go into cycle record. So what we've got now is we've got another character, we've got the French captain, and we can see we've actually got new coloring on the timeline tracks and new coloring on the countdowns and wipes of the scene. Finishing recording, have a look at which one we want. We'll keep the number take four as a select take, which is auto consolidated again, and we'll now deactivate the loop and it puts it away, leaving us again with a very clean timeline. So what we're looking at at the moment is we're looking at recording single actors at a time. So now what you can see is I actually have two loops activated, two different characters in two different parts of the timeline. It's gonna give me beeps for both and colors for both. All these features go together to create a comprehensive ADR package, 
which allow the operator and the editor to do what they're meant to, just concentrate on performance.